Aloha everyone. I wanted to show you um, the complexities of our language a little bit because I had a few parents that were asking about spelling, about appropriate spelling. Um, at this stage in kindergarten, we still really, really, really want them to be spelling phonetically. Um, unless it's a proper noun, unless it's a name, California, Target, Disneyland, um, you know, any names, then feel free to spell it for them or sight words. They can use any resources for sight words. Other than that, they really should be still spelling everything, just about everything phonetically. Um, there are some things that we have started to introduce them to, like the magic E, um, also known sometimes as the bossy E or the silent E. Um, those, like, oh, that would be the silent E or magic E or bossy E. Um, like those words, they could probably, you could use a little bit of help with any of the digraphs like ch, sh, w, c, h, s, h, w, h, um, those as well. Ing is something that they're familiar with, ing, but most of these are very advanced. So if they can do it, great. Um, if you want to help them a little bit with it, but this really is more toward second grade, a little bit of first grade, um, because we transition them from the sound to the spelling. So that's why for open court, they're called sound spelling cards, because we move them from the sounds, the phonetic sounds, to the proper spellings. So this is something I did with the students forever ago. I did, I was tutoring, um, she's probably graduated from college by now, and I had her sort through words, and then we just brainstormed all the different spellings, and then she was able to keep this. Um, and so I wanted you to see just how complicated our language is. So every... These are all of the sounds, right? Every All the vowels have the long sound and the short sound. So um, they have the most spellings, as you can see, that are very complicated. Um, they have multiple different ones. And then we have um, a few other ones in here. So like, you know, the K sound could be spelled with the K or a CK. The F sound could be spelled um, F, F. You know, it could be spelled like phone or laugh. Um, the J could be spelled with the G E G I D G E. The K again. Um, you know, no, not K N. Sometimes R is or R, R is W R. The S sometimes is C E or C I. And then all of these are um, the long vowels. So this is just kind of for an F Y I, so you know. Um, to be quite honest, I, at this point, as long as they're phonetic, I wouldn't even get into all this because here's the thing. You don't want to push their brain more than they need to. I'm all about them being independent. I'm all about them being um, critical thinkers. I'm all about them being deep thinkers. I want them to really challenge themselves, but there's no reason to push things that just don't need to be pushed yet. And um, this is just something that I just don't know that's going to help them in the long run. So I would be a little bit more patient with these kinds of spellings, you know, all of these more complicated ones, expose them to it. You can point it out for sure, but I wouldn't necessarily have them rewrite all of those words. Um, again, the words that I would do is like if they were spelling hope and they spelled it H-O-P, that is something that we've gone over a lot. So you could maybe do like that one, but um, you know, all of these, it's just, that's a lot for right now. So I hope that's a little bit helpful, um, and I, I will explain a little bit more about the word sorts um, in an email. Okay, have a great evening. Thank you. Bye.